I have to say, I had a lovely birthday. I'm 18 now. And I got a really good surprise from Kelvin. Oh my gosh. I'm an adult and I can't believe 18 is here for me. And 18 is an awesome age to be. I felt scared turning 18, but now I'm 18. I don't feel any different at all. I can tell you Kevin's surprise. I'm not gonna say much about it. So he made me a little birthday video and um it was so sweet. I might even upload it. He if you guys didn't know, when I was a kid I love Red Estate and you guys know how much I actually listen to Red Estate. And Keeping songs to myself is tough because I really want to share it online and I can't do that. I'm not going to say the song. I'm not going to say it because it is a secret. And I told Sam very strictly that you cannot tell anyone or put it online because the album's not finished. I'm not going to say anything about it, so I'm going to say, and everyone from Warren Estate, Kelvin, Amanda, Alex, Noah, and Brody signed a, signed a uke for me, and we went out to dinner, and I told the guy that I have a birth, is, I just went like, it's my birthday, turning 18, and ha 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 after that, <laughs> and I said that I have a birthday present waiting for me at home. And that is true because I got a ukulele and I also get a card. But when I actually get all um, get the presents, I'm going to make a huge video of the I'm going to make a huge video of my haul, of, of a haul, of the presents, presents I've got, gotten. So that's going to wait because I'm having a birthday party next week, next weekend. And I figured why not share it with you because, yeah. I have to say, I went through a quite a, quite a process when I was 17. It was a tough process. And... It was about Parker. He died, unfortunately, and I didn't know what to do with myself at that time. And so that's when I started to talk to safe adults about this. And I talked to my teachers at school, and I talked to Kelvin as well because he is a safe person. And Kelvin, if you're out there, was the safest person to talk to because he's an adult and I really do trust him in my instinct and I did the right thing to tell someone about my emotions and these emotions I was feeling was the emotions I was actually feeling and when I went up to Kelvin I just said like man Kelvin I'm going through a really tough grieving process my camp counselor died my Kim Kessler Parker died, and I would tell Kelvin that I feel pain because I missed the person that Parker was, and I felt powerless at that time because I, I didn't know what to do with, m with myself, and I felt helpless, I felt empty-handed, but there's nothing we can do about death. It happens to anyone, and I'm sure... And I'm sure the people who are close to me might die when I grow when I get older. I'm not saying I'm not trying to be offensive. I'm just saying it might happen because a lot of people go and it happens. It and death happens every so often, and I 
when I went over to Kelvin, he just said that it's okay to feel that way, but still, it's not true to feel that way. And when, and then after that, and then uh, when he was in Minnesota for the tour of Technicolor, I was very proud of Kevin for that part, and I spoke to him at length about this, and he, Kevin, Kevin was saying that whatever Parker's going through, those are his difficulties that he's going through, and anyone has difficulties of their own, and my difficulty was my emotions, because I felt so many emotions, I felt like I was a failure at that point, and then it got really bad. And became, and that's when they're talking about. Talk, that's when I talk, start talking about suicide, and I can't kill myself because I'm too important, and I knew I am someone that everyone loves because I know when a stay loves me, I know all my friends and my boyfriend loves me, and. Everyone out there loves me so much, and there's nothing I can change about it. So from the bottom of my heart, I cannot thank Kelvin enough, because he ch was one who changed my grieving process to the better. And I know for sure I'm going to cry. when I get my hands on the ukulele, and all I can do right now is to give Kevin a hug. That's all I need from that point. And those negative emotions I was feeling killed, killed me better and told me that they weren't true to feel that way. And he was the one that and I thought to myself, I should move on. And Kelvin was proud of me that I moved on. I felt proud that I moved on. And when I went outside, like when I went to the, I went to the sunset. I looked at the white light. I looked at Parker. And even though he's physically here, he wished me happy birthday. And Parker said, I'm sure Kelvin will be proud of you turning 18. He was like, and I told him that Kevin's always proud of me, and I'm very proud to have him, so I can't be thankful enough to have Kevin as my teacher, and I'm afraid he's, he's going to say thanks on this video. What does it mean saying thank you to him for helping me in everything I've done? I love practicing music and doing music, and what Alex has taught me is that um I is that um keep practicing and getting better every day. That's what I kept doing and I thought that's all that matters.